Hello and welcome back. In today's video, we are having a look at Tale Worlds' one year recap of their development of Bannerlord, as I think uh, yesterday was the day they first launched their dev blog thing on their Steam page. So I'm going to be reading out some of the more important parts of this blog then stating my opinion and then also requesting the opinion of some of you down in the comments because I'm very interested to see what you think about this sort of thing, whether it's my opinion is completely out the window or whether uh, I'm actually talking sense for a change. So it reads, today we reached a landmark. It's been one year since we started this weekly dev blog. We wanted to be more available, more open and transparent. And as part of our new approach to communication, we started these weekly updates to give you a sneak peek of what we are currently doing in the development of Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Introducing you to the team uh, has been one of the main things, as well as talking about future plans and intention. So this is more of an introductory paragraph and they have been doing that throughout the year. They have done a good job at giving us uh, more of an insight into how development is going and how they actually develop things, which is also good for people that want to learn a little bit more about the maybe games industry. However, it's not what everybody who wants to play this game is looking for. They really want to get into that gameplay features, uh, mechanics and what's going to be in the game, whether that's multiplayer or single player. Um, but despite having all of these dev blogs, I still feel like I'm in the dark almost. Like there's this big dark patch of Bannerlord and there's just a few sheds of light over what we're going to see. Um, I'm not quite sure to the overall extent of how, what this game is going to be. I'm not sure if there's going to be uh, a huge uh, a range of bugs because of how long this game's been in development. Uh, that there's so many different things in this game. There's definitely uh, a lot of opportunity for bugs to be uh, cropping up. However, that time in development, as I've said many, many times before, could be essential because we could get an absolutely amazing Mountain Blade Bannerlord game. Now, the one theory that I always have for Tail Worlds is that they're very perfectionist. They want to make sure they get everything perfect. Uh, and I think this is what the general manager, uh, Armagan Yavuz, is very interested in because it's his project. He really, really wants um, it, everything to be perfect. And I know he checks through uh, each individual uh, developers work all the time like any manager would but he also will and almost everything has to be run through him apparently I'd also like to say thank you to Callum and the uh, community team that have been getting these blogs out so we actually have a form of communication with Tailwords which uh, a lot of you may remember we didn't have we had no form of knowing what was happening with Bannerlord or whether we're going to have it in 10 years or 5 years I mean, I mean to be fair we still don't know when we're going to get the game but uh but you know what I mean when I say that we had very limited communication. However, with these new weekly dev blogs, we have had unlimited communication. Callum is very responsive on the forums, uh, as well as in the comments section down below these blogs. Um, and I think it's been a brilliant step for Tailworlds uh, because a lot of us felt excluded beforehand. One part of this text that I found particularly funny uh, reads, even though we can't please everyone and we couldn't talk about what all of you want to know the most um, and still can't, yes, yeah, sorry, there still won't be a release date in this post either. So they're still not giving us release dates. I am far, far beyond expecting a release date anytime soon uh, from these developers. But I also think it will be one of those things where they give us a release date out of the blue, a little bit of a surprise, and we're just like, oh, it's coming f sooner than we think, possibly. But I'm, that's just my theory. Uh, I'm not sure, though. There's a section in here about Mountain Blade modding and how important it is to the developers, which I think is amazing, uh, because the modding scene is basically the thing that kept Mountain Blade Warband going, uh, because people kept on going back and trying new things, because these mods completely overhauled the game and put different foundations in this game that made you just want to play more, whether that's fighting uh, in the Lord of the Rings universe or the Game of Thrones universe or a made-up universe. Uh, and I think that's brilliant. Uh, and I also think it's amazing that they're carrying on that mod support and they're also going to be increasing that mod support, making the tools a lot easier to use uh, and basically meaning that we're going to get a whole lot of different mods in Bannerlord. They talk about how the more technical side of the game got the most upvotes on Steam. In particular, the one about the inverse schematics of the Siege engines. I think people like that because it's getting into the real nitty gritty part of Bannerlord. Uh, and you can kind of 
uh, see what they're doing and how difficult it is possibly leading to uh, why the game is taking so long um, as well as just you know being part of the development almost that you feel a part of it because they're taking you along the way and I think that's the best thing Tell Wads have ever done hopefully we're going to see some stuff at Gamescon and, and a few other conventions uh, maybe some more gameplay reveal that would be nice we haven't had some of that in a while Lastly, it reads, as you can see, all in all, it's been a really intense year. We're happy to have uh, opened this door to talk with you. Thank you for reading, upvoting, commenting, and sharing all of these posts. And thanks uh, to those who helped us to improve with their opinions and constructive criticism. Great things are coming. We are looking forward to walking this path with you. May fortune favor your blade warriors. The end is uh, the classic tale. Well, it's a nice finisher there. They also talk about how there's going to be more uh, compositions in Warband, which is going to be laying the frame for possibly a Banner Lord esport, depending on how big the game is. But that last uh, section definitely demonstrates how much Tale Worlds want to be in communication with the community and how uh, the community opinions uh, affect them. They really want to make sure that if there's something in a blog post that the community doesn't like, that they're going to try and change it um it's because they want to get the best game possible so hopefully uh we'll get a release date by the end of this year if we don't uh, i guess roll on 2019 anyway guys thank you so much for watching all of uh my videos on these dev blogs i hope i've been a uh conveyor of information to you guys and i hope you have enjoyed them um i've definitely enjoyed making them i like keeping track of this game because i'm very passionate about warband uh, because that's what my channel's based off and i'm obviously going to be very passionate about bannerlord anyway guys thank you so much for watching yet again i hope you have an absolutely brilliant day and i will see you in the next battle